Hey everyone, Dawn Master here. Got a sweet tool haul for you, and it's Snap-on. Got to meet up with my uh, old Snap-on dealer and pick up a few things. Um, mainly I met up with him to pick up this guy right here. My 14.4 that's been rebuilt. And um, why don't we just get into that first? So, I haven't even tried this guy out. I sent this out in January and it took uh, them a long time to get this thing rebuilt. So, I'm happy to get it back. Parts have been hard to get, I guess, with these older ones. And um, it's a CT761. And uh, it was green when I sent it off. And now it's red. Doesn't bother me at all. And um, so, yeah. Snap the battery on it. Sounds a little funky. Sounds like the anvils. I don't know. We'll see. At least the lights work. The lights always quit working on these older ones really quick, but. Man, that just doesn't sound right. Anyway, that's that, that's 761. Freshly rebuilt, new case, new motor, new anvil, new hammers. Um, they just don't replace the uh, nose cone kind of wish they did but they don't it's like why not you know why not just give me a new one and then um, we'll get into this here so I met up with my old snap-on dealer um, last place I worked at all I had was a snap-on guy that came to the shop and that was it um, my Mac dealer it wasn't his route so I had to meet up with him and uh, I got quite a bit of stuff from him and uh, he was excited to catch up with me and uh, right when I walked on the truck I noticed he had the uh, brushless impact master set sitting next to these new 56 ounce hammers. They look a little different, pretty beefy head on them and he had high vis, a green and the uh, metallic charcoal gray I think is what it's called, titanium gray or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I'll take one of those, 56 ounce, nice and long, really big and beefy. And pretty awesome. So I like these snap-on hammers. I think they're pretty nice. So yeah, this is uh, 56 ounce. And this is the HBBD 56, and these are new. And they are really big. You can see it compared to the 761. It's a pretty beefy unit. And then uh, I picked up one of these. He actually gave this to me. Um, gave me a red one and a blue one. The red one is in my car, but pretty cool. Old hard handle. And um, I was gonna get the terminal tool kit, but it was a little, a little pricey. I think it was almost 300 bucks. So I just got this guy. This is for cutting uh, sheathing, you know, for wiring harnesses. And they're pretty cheap. I think it was only like five or ten bucks. Those are the two cheapest things from, out of this. This guy was really pricey. I think I paid about 198 bucks for it. And the rebuild was about 120 I should have just bought a brand new one, but I already have a brand new brushless. 861 so this might be a giveaway so subscribe if you haven't um, back here I needed new shoes uh, my Romeos are getting blown out and uh, they're about a hundred bucks for the Romeos and he had these he ordered for someone and they didn't fit the guy so I got lucky and I got these for uh, like 20 bucks off so 
10 or 20 bucks off. I think I paid about 90, 90 bucks, I think, for them. And uh, they're the non-slip shoes. Uh, nice, breathable material. Um, I've worn them. I wore them a little bit on my way home. Vibrant. And uh, they're super nice and comfortable. So I picked those up from him. And then uh, the needle nose pliers are on promo right now for a few bucks off. And uh, I went ahead and picked those up. I picked up the long needle nose. I have the long Mac needle nose, but they're a little, a little bendy. And the snap-ons are a little bit more sturdy. Um, we'll see if these rust. And then um, I picked up the... Uh, proto ones a while back on Amazon but I wanted these these are a little bit bigger a little bit more sturdy looking so I'm like why not throw those in there and then um, I got these warranted. I had a pair that were red handled and um, you know it's funny is these are already rusting and they just came off the tool truck they're brand new but they're a little rusty so I got these warranted out I had an old pair that was pretty worn out, and then um, I went ahead and picked up the uh, Malco Eagle Grips that everyone says are the best uh, vice grip style locking pliers made in USA. I know I could have got the Malco brand Eagle Grips um, that aren't really chrome plated. I'm not. I don't think they're chrome plated like Snap On. Uh, Malco makes these for Snap On. But you can get the Malco ones, I think, from J.D. Tico. Uh, shout out to him. He's got great deals. Um, I think they're about 50 or 60 bucks for the Malcos. Um, these are $98 off Snap-on truck, so about twice as much. But they're chrome-plated, and they're just awesome. I was just like, yeah, he had them. Why not? He had a smaller one, too, but I went ahead and just got the bigger ones. Pretty cool. And then... Uh, I went ahead and picked up the ECPND032 foldable dual pen light. Uh, folds 180 degrees. I almost got another just magnetic work light, but I already had one. So I went ahead and got this. This one was like 20 bucks more. And uh, we'll check this guy out, show you what, what it's like. All right, let me get this unpackaged and we'll take a look. So this guy's pretty cool. Um, it's got a really bright light on there. Sorry for blinding you. Um, battery life there. It's green right now. Phone doesn't pick that up really for some reason. But And then that turns on the beam. Wow, this thing is really bright. And then another push to the button. Puts it back to that. Okay, so it's got three different spots. It's got the tip, the beam, and then the back. And it is USB-C rechargeable. Pretty cool. And it comes with a USB wall port. So that's pretty cool. It's got a belt clip on it. And it's got a magnet on the bottom that's pretty strong. It won't pick up the uh, locking pliers. It'll pick up the needle nose pliers. I'm actually glad I picked this light up. I'm like, I really don't need another light, but why not? I didn't even open the box. I just saw the picture on it. I'm like, I got to have it. Why not? But, uh, so yeah, these are a little pricey, but I think they're worth it. I think they're really good quality. It's kind of like the Switchblade Stinger, which those are pretty expensive too. So, you know, you can fold this and magnetize it on a hood or on a fender while you're working and flip it up, put it back in your pocket. Pretty cool. So I'm glad I picked that up. That's a sweet light. And then, so I showed you the pliers, the hammer, the rebuilt impact. I got the shoes and then, um, he threw in the socks for free. I told him I needed socks. He's like, oh, they're on me. Guys, Snap-on makes some of the the best work socks. And 
most of mine are ankle high ones but I went ahead and got the shorter ones for summer um, and they're awesome you know you have to buy them individually you know I think they're like five or seven dollars a piece but if you have a good dealer he'll throw them in and then he threw these in for free these are I think more like seasonal socks they're not really work socks um, a little bit thinner and then um, I really needed more of these I really like these um, these are the snap-on hand towels uh, for cleaning tools your hands and there's 60 wipes in these uh, I think they're a little over 20 bucks a little bit more than the tubbo towels but there's something about the smell I just love the smell of these it's just a unique smell uh, if you want the part number though those are that's a WOD 5020 and just curious where these are made the hand towels are made in the USA and then I picked up two more bottles of these because the new snap-on dealer that comes to my work does not stock a lot of stuff and uh, I used to get this from my old dealer that I met today and I have a bottle at home still but I'm almost out this stuff is awesome it smells awesome it's got kind of that grit texture in it pumice and it dries your hands out a little bit but not as bad as some of the other ones um, it's water activated solvent free concentrated and it's got a uh, soybean oil surfactants and conditioners with Fabril and it's 100% biodegradable so I picked up two bottles of this it's about 12 bucks a bottle I think stock up on that nice cherry smell it's the black cherry hand cleaner and um, that's about it for you guys I know it's actually quite a I thought I grabbed way more than I actually did start piling the stuff up have them put it on uh, my account and I asked him how much uh, we were at and I actually had a terminal tool kit in there um, this the terminal tool kit with this style handle is the master set the instinct handle one and it's I think about 250 or 300 um, I didn't grab put that in the pile I wasn't gonna get that I was gonna get the smaller kit that has about seven of these handled uh, deep pinning tools and it actually had the old hard handle style handles like this mini handles like this but they were black and I was gonna get them but when he told me the price I was like huh not really worth it for how often I'm gonna use them so I just took those off and ended up just getting all this stuff but still quite a bit of money um, some of you would know probably about how much I spent today but anyway I'm happy with the purchase snap on tool hauls always feel good and I haven't had one a good one in probably three or four months because he's the dealer I was buying a lot from and I quit seeing him because I got a new job so anyway hope you guys like this video and leave a comment like subscribe uh, leave leave comment ask me whatever you want I try to get back to as many people as I can uh, a lot of you subscribers are really cool appreciate the comments you leave and the likes and um, I just want to get get up with subscribers and try to get a giveaway going and I'm really gonna do it just to let you guys know one of you guys one of you good subscribers will do it and it's I'm gonna do it based on comments and kind of pick from someone like that um, I'm gonna do a pick from the people who watch my videos more and I'll basically do a draw based off of who comments in a video that will be later on um, when we get closer to a thousand sub subs and uh, the giveaway will be good I'm just letting you guys know it's not going to be outrageous like thousand dollars or something worth in tools but it's going to be something good you're going to get something decent so anyways 
Hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see you on the next one.